Hello there. I've got a big stack of new paper books in. I just thought I'd show off. This is obviously not all that new, but it did come in recently, and it is the long-expected, much-wanted Ganymede Takeover by Philip K. Dick and Ray Nelson. We talked about this on the podcast not too long ago, and uh, I haven't actually started it yet, but I thought I would use, when I do read it, my cool escape pod bookmark. I bet not many people have one of these. Pretty cool, huh? Also new in, although, again, not very old. This one's from 1931. Uh, not very new. From 1931, The Secret of Redgate Farm by Carolyn Keene. And if you know who Carolyn Keene is, you know she is the fake author. You don't really know who wrote most of these. Um of the Nancy Drew Mysteries, and check out this cool illustration. I was actually uh, listening to the audiobook, um, which is available on Audible, read by Laura Linney, and uh, trying to do a read-along with this paper book does not work at all. The book apparently was rewritten in the 1960s, and so there are many of the same scenes but every line is changed. There's not one line that's exactly the same, and I have no idea that why that was done. But it's a cool, it's a cool, really old book, anyways. Recently new, and and I have started reading that one. Uh, also recently discussed on the podcast and other podcasts, uh, "Stories of Your Life" by Ted Chiang. Not a new book at all either, but um, one I've really wanted to read, and I, I just started reading it the other day. I read like the first paragraph and I'm like holy crap this is awesome I had to take a break uh, I'm savoring it basically because he's just such a deliberately slow writer he doesn't put out you know novel after novel after novel you know every year he's never put out a novel and so when you get some Ted Chiang you have really have to savor it and that's what I'm doing um, not a very interesting cover no illustrations but the writing is terrific that one has my old, this is from an old uh, Dragonlance calendar from years and years ago that I cut apart. Probably shouldn't have done that, but I thought, oh, that'd make a good bookmark, and I glued it together. And I still have it from, this is probably from the 1980s. Jennifer Blood, I've finished this one. This is new. Um, now, apparently this is going to be a continuing series without Garth Ennis as the writer. I'm not sure I would read it anyways. Um, it's interesting uh, in that it it does sort of what the old Punisher series that Garth Ennis wrote did um, but it's 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 really the only reason I bought it is because Garth Ennis wrote it uh, what I want him to do is get back to what he wants to do which is to write battlefields and other historical or World War II or war comics he's really good at that he loves to do it this stuff is, it's, it's okay, it passes the time, but it's not what people um, who really love Garth Ennis' writing, or even Garth Ennis loves. It's what the market sort of demands, I think, from him. It's, um, it's funny, but it's sort of the same stuff we've seen before. and um, It's like a female ver version of The Punisher. So, not super disappointed with it, I still enjoyed reading it, but it's not what I, I want from Garth Ennis, I want more more war comics. Just new in as well. Haven't read this yet, but I'm going to open it up and see what it looks like. King Conan, uh, art by Timothy Truman, or is that written by Timothy Truman? Probably written by. Although he's an artist too, I hear. Oh, well, this looks pretty good. I don't think this is an adaptation. I think this is um, just a new, a new story in the era when Conan was king. Looks pretty good. Yeah, that's exciting. And also, in very strangely, we got a hardcover. Um, Count to a trillion. I actually scanned this and put it up on the website. But um, it sounds interesting. It's it's going to be a series. So this is the first in a series. I'm going to wait and see what people say about how it ends. Because if it says, you know, to be continued, I think I'll skip it. But it's, an, it's a decent cover. I, I've heard some interesting things about John C. Wright. Um, and I'm kind of looking forward to it. There's a uh, 
quote by Spider Robinson on the cover, a major figure in the recent renaissance of space opera. Could be, could be good. And that's basically all I have to say.